Hi, my name is Marcellus Gamers. My name is Chris Picard. Jacob Guy. I've been playing football for most of my life. I've been playing since second grade. I've been playing football for the last three years. I've been playing football for two years. I do not know what CTE is. No, I don't know what CTE is. Yeah, I know what CTE is. It's a brain disorder that causes anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts caused by repeated trauma of the head, usually showing up in pro athletes that have retired from games like football or rugby. Uh, CTE is a, is a degenerative brain disease. Uh, chronic traumatic uh, encephalopathy. Uh, the traumatic part is the, is the important part. It's uh, brought on by uh, concussive and um, sub-concussive symptoms uh, where the brain is damaged, um, usually from traumatic uh, hits. Um, what we've learned a lot more about, there's still a lot to learn about it really, but what we've learned a lot about it in recent years is that uh, this is a, a disease that can be brought on not just by very high impact hits to the brain, which we are not evolutionarily designed to, um, to endure uh, in a healthy way, uh, but also from lots of, like I said, sub-concussive hits, so small hits, um, small uh, impacts. So, uh, basically, it's where the brain is uh, uh, damaged from being shook around within the skull um, and the result is people much younger than where they should be um, having brains that look a lot like uh, the brains of people who are having some kind of a degenerative uh, disease that you're supposed to have at a very much older age. Yeah, I will continue playing football knowing the downsides because it has, it's never happened to me before and I don't think it ever will. Yes, because the league has taken many precautions in the, making the players more safe. Um, I will. I want to finish out high school and probably try to play in college. No, I don't think my helmet's safe. Because it's a really bad helmet that's not very safe. Uh, no, I don't think my helmet is safe because they were made a long time ago and they don't seem to get updated very often. Um, I think most of it's safe. I think there could be some things that can be worked on. I think that the, the moves in recent years to make changes to the policies on how they handle um, their players with third-party doctors um, who are on the scene at, at every game, I think that that's a really good first step. And I would continue to work with science as we learn more and more about it. Um, shutting down the NFL might be a, a drastic step, but it seems like there's a lot of things that should be done to protect the players at, at, at every turn as we learn more and more about this disease. I have had one concussion throughout my football career. Well, my concussion happened during practice and I got hit and I started feeling like very lightheaded and I continued playing. And then it got to the point where I couldn't do anything anymore, so I went up to the nurse's office. I think it didn't hinder me whatsoever academically, except during when I had the concussion. No, I've never had any neck spasms or head injuries because of football. No, I've never had any spasms or head injuries. The research is showing that it does, that uh, if what they call in the NFL now this concussion protocol, uh, if they are not treating the symptoms and, and r removing the, um, the harm associated with the, the aftermath of a, of a concussion, um, repeated um, blows to the head or even just activity when dealing with a concussion um, can, can make things worse. I think children should play football because I think it's a fun game and I, not many times does these major injuries happen to the head. Yes, because it's a fun game and I think that just a problem in the head that doesn't occur very often, it's very rare, should not stop a kid from wanting to have fun in the game of football. I think the choice of children playing football should be up to the parents depending on whether or not 
they want their children to be doing that, but it's a fun sport, so I think they should still have a chance if they want to. I think that contact sports have some inherent level of danger, uh, but I also think that uh, at the high school level, the uh, quantity of, of hits that, that is, um, that have the potential for um, concussive symptoms are probably considerably less than at higher levels in terms of speed of impact and things like that. But at the same time, yes, there's definitely some danger. I'm not an expert in this area, but I think that the NFL uh, has done a lot in the last few years because they were forced into it uh, to do some things to support players. Uh, but there's probably some more room to go, and I know that, that there's uh, you know, lawsuits and things like that that are still kind of pending in that area. I think probably in certain circles it is being talked about. I think definitely uh, from uh, girls soccer to hockey to lacrosse and some other sports, definitely there's the potential for um, concussions, brain injuries, and therefore the potential for uh, CTE. Uh, however, I think the, the repetition of hits and the quantity of hits in football and also just the attention that the NFL has gotten because of some of the high profile cases associated with CTE probably have made that more of a, a, a discussion for mainstream America as opposed to looking at uh, other sports. I think that the, the violence associated with NFL football, um, MMA fighting, and some other sports, boxing throughout our, our nation's history show that there is a, there is a market for high impact, dangerous, uh, violent sports. And um, so yeah, I think something uh, will <clears throat> always be interesting to uh, a, a fairly significant number of, of um, people, citizens. And so, yeah, I, I, I could see uh, something else stepping in if, if the NFL were, were to not be there, but uh, I don't see the NFL going anywhere anytime soon.